Hi, today we're going to talk about the new Samsung YPU4. Uh, it's an upgrade from the YPU3, if you remember that one. Uh, this is kind of like its big brother. You see, it's a real stylish design. The uh, U3 was more for a younger audience. It was just uh, pastel colors, smaller, really bright light blinking on it. Um, this one here, though, you can see more of a grown-up look. We have a two-tone color, like the red to black. There's also a blue and a purple, same two-tone pattern, which is really nice. Uh, it's got a really stylish, sleek design to it. Very simple also, we only have a few buttons on the outside. Uh, that circle there, that's our select button. Then we go ahead and we can cycle through the menu side to side, up and down, volume. We can also switch tracks going side to side. It's got a couple buttons on the side here also, if we play, play, pause, power, We've got a record button. Um, if it's got a voice recorder on it, you can go ahead and talk into it, leave yourself voice memos. User button means we can go ahead and customize that to do whatever we want with it. Um, flip up the top. We have a microphone for our voice recorder and our headphone jack. What else has been upgraded on this is um, it's now got 17 hours of battery life instead of 16 hours, and we now have um, DNSE 2.0 on it. Also, it's really neat. Just like the U3, we have a USB port just jumps right out there. We don't need to worry about plugging this into cables or anything. In the radio computer, just pop it out and plug it in. It starts charging automatically. You can load songs up on it then also. So, don't have to worry about having a, another wire sitting by your computer table. Also, it's a jump drive, so you can plug this into a computer and move files from one computer to the next if you want to, or store something on here if you're at school or work or whatever. And it pops right back in, just plug it back in like that. Now, let's take a closer look at the uh, YPU4. As you can see up close, the U4 is a really smooth looking unit, especially with the uh, two tone coloring it has on it. Let's go ahead and turn it on and take a look. Oh, here's our so the main menu is music, got our FM radio, data casts, voice recorder, file browser, settings. Let's go back to music. And here's our music menu. You can go ahead and you can cycle through this. We have a few different options. Also, uh, what's really nice is with the the uh, mono OLED. I know it's a small screen, but you can go ahead and see really well on here. The readability is not bad at all. Also, now let's take a look at the. Let's go ahead and play. I'll show you the play screen. As you can see there, it's got a lot of information on it. We've got our battery displayed, uh, what we've got it set to, the song we've got, but you've also got album artwork on there. Uh, it's really small, but um, the screen it shows up pretty nice on it. And it was not used, you have a animation that pops up on there. It's kind of a nice touch. So whenever you flip up or down, you can change the volume on here. Also side to side. And you notice right here, whenever you hit uh, any of the buttons, the lights on the side activate to kind of show you that it's, it's working. It's kind of a nice design touch. Makes it look pretty nice. Also, uh, with the DNSE 2.0, the U4 generates really good sound quality, so um, I mean, it's surprising, especially in a unit this small, you can get really decent sound out of it. That's pretty much all we've got right now for the U4. Until uh, next time, see ya.